Why is small talk so important in the remote environment? Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Brummett. And there is endless research which demonstrates that remotely we are more likely to perceive incompetence, mistrust and poor decision making on the part of our colleagues in our remote teams versus those with whom we work regularly face to face. So how do we start to overcome that? Relationships are built on rituals. And if you think about what we do when we are face to face, even though that might seem like a very long time ago, we are able to wander past each other's desks. We're able to go grab coffee in the kitchen. We're able to walk down the halls together to get into a meeting room. We can sit and eat lunch in the canteen. We can walk to our cars together and have a natter. But in the remote environment, all of that goes. So what do we do instead? One of the most powerful communication strategies that we should get really good at and for which we only have fleeting amounts of time is our ability to do really effective small talk. Now, that's combined with our challenge of having overbooked calendars, meetings that run late. Often we're not as prepared as we might be. So we stagger on to our next remote call and we're already behind the curve. We've missed that opportunity for small talk. But why is it so important to do? It's the means by which, as human beings, we can gauge What's it going to be like being around you here, today, now? Is it going to be safe? Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be interesting? Are you having a good day or are you having a not good day? And all of us look at this primal level for the means by which we can gauge, can I survive? Can I get through this? And small talk is a vehicle that allows us to do just that. It's also a point of connection. We can change the dynamic of the relationship that we have with other people when for mere moments we talk about something else other than work. We can suss each other out. We can understand each other a little better. We can have a moment of lightness or of laughter or of curiosity or of interest or of information which has got nothing to do with the topic that we're actually meeting about. It's also fundamental to our behaviour, because if you think about what monkeys, gibbons do, they pick the nits off of each other. That's how they work out that each other is not a threat to them. Cats wash each other. We're not gonna talk about what dogs do on first meeting. The point is, the power of small talk is a means by which we can change the connection, the rapport, and the relationship we have with others. So my sincere and heartfelt invitation to you is take that minute, take that moment to ensure you're on time or even a minute early because it's going to be well worth it.